What's up, guys? What's up, guys? It's good to be with you again. It's good to see you again. I want to start off this video by sending a huge shout out to a fellow content creator that is making some super dope content. And that is my boy, because I'm going to make sure I get it right, Trey57. Listen, Trey57 Productions. Great content. Go check it out. This uh, this video was inspired by him responding to my video about having one bullet in the chamber and wondering openly if you should carry with one in the chamber. I said that my take on it um, at the time, and I'm starting to change it a little bit, but my take on it at the time was... The odds of you actually needing your gun are really, really small. Um, super small. Think about all the times in your life that you've had or, or you could have used your firearm legally um, to protect yourself or a loved one. Um, I would be willing to bet that it's probably been less than three or four times. I could say for myself, it's probably been about three times total where... I was in a situation and if I had my firearm, I would have been able to legally use it. And you know you you know that I don't take that lightly. But anyway, so my thing is I don't usually carry with one in the chamber. Um, if I carry with one in the chamber, it's because I know I'm in a suspect environment or that I'm around some suspect individuals or I see some suspect behavior and I actually rack it before I even show up. I'm ready to go. You know what I mean? Um, but generally, I just say that the chances of me using my firearm are small. The chances of me um, getting into a situation and not having time to rack my slide is small. But, you know, on the opposite end of that, you might not have time to rack your slide. Somebody might pull out a gun on you and you might not have time to rack it and defend yourself. It's just like that. You just got to consider that. All right. So my boy, my boy, Trey five, seven, um, who I advise you to follow and check out his content. My boy, Trey five, seven believes in carrying one in the chamber. I totally respect that. So thinking about my take on it and then considering his response and his take on it, it made me realize something. Let me just see. You know what matters when you're carrying with one in the holster? Well, I mean, with one in the chamber? Your holster. You know, if you really want to feel safe, if you want to have a bullet in the chamber and you want to feel safe, I would recommend you get one of these. Not a range bag, but I do love it. I would recommend you get one of these. Let's see. I know I have one in here somewhere. Let me see. Headphones. This thing better be boosted. Let me make sure. I would recommend a Kydex holster. All right? Snaps in, snaps out. Not the neoprene, all right? The neoprene holster. It's too soft, right? It's too soft. It stretches, you know, it's just too soft. You know, you probably could save a couple dollars by getting this kind of holster. First of all, this is the, uh, this is the XDS uh, OSP Mod 2 with the Crimson Trace, with the Crimson Trace uh, red dot on it. And I have this little flimsy little case and I would never carry with one in the chamber. First of all, there are bullets in the mag. However, it is not loaded. All right. So the thing is, with the neoprene holster, you might save a couple dollars, but check it out. I can still kind of get to that trigger. I really, it's hard to get to it. However, if you're dealing with a loaded weapon, you don't even want to play with that, all right? You don't want to try to bob yourself, shoot yourself through the leg and the foot. You don't want to be responsible for a negligent discharge. So you got to be careful. 
with something like this, this is my Smith & Wesson SD9VE. I absolutely love this gun. I need to carry it more. It kind of just sits on my on my nightstand and in my safe. I kind of I kind of try to change them out. And this one is clear. It's clear. Barrel's empty. But if you're gonna carry with one in the chamber, get a Kydex holster. See that? That reflection click. You hit a you hit a retention sticks in there. If you're gonna carry a one in the chamber, do not use a neoprene holster. Alright? They're, they're cheap. This one happens to fit the, the optic. And I know you guys were in the comments in my last video giving me props on the gun, but this in the holster. I get it. I got a Kydex coming for this one. I promise you guys. But Trey57, I really appreciate you, man. You the man. And I have subscribed to your channel. I will send, I will put a uh a little tag in the video so that they know where to find you, how to find you. And um, I really appreciate you. Let's keep this let's keep this back and forth going. I really think that, for one, it's important to defend yourself. It's important to stay prepared. And I think that, you know, we got to stick together. You know, dream like Martin and all that, all right? Listen, I got a lot of love for you. I'm in the comments with you. Um, like I always try to end it, just please remember that gun ownership is a huge responsibility. Um, do not take the drawing of your firearm lightly and uh, take care of yourself for me and I'm going to take care of myself for you. I'll see you in the comments. All right. Peace.